Today I'm at northernhomestead.com in Didsbury, Alberta, and I'm going to be doing a case study, which you'll see on my channel a little bit later, um, on their geodesic greenhouse, which you can see in the back there, which they built themselves for less than a thousand bucks. And also on this really cool unconventional greenhouse here, which is basically just a U-shaped greenhouse without a roof. So Anna's going to give us a tour of it and how in spite of it not having a roof, it completely changes the dynamics of how her tomatoes grow in this super cold climate. So take a look at the video, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hello, I'm Anna from northernhomestead.com and today I'm here in our raised window protected garden and I want to tell you a little bit about it. This raised window protected garden makes me really excited because it works. And we came up with that actually kind of accidentally because we needed something to put our plants from the house outside when we just moved to this property. So I really just, you know, had some old windows put together and had my plants in there. And then um, next year, Jacob came up with a, with a little bit bigger uh, structure and we had plants there all summer long and we're blown away how it works. You wouldn't believe, like this is not a greenhouse. It has no roof. It's just really protection. And the tomatoes are ripening. Like right now, we are having our first and this year it's actually late because it was a bit of cooler summer. But we have had tomatoes here as early as end of June. And that's for our climate really impressive if you know what we are dealing with here. So yeah, it's and then Jacob built this for more permanent structure. It looks nice. I love it. Tomatoes grow well. I grow indeterminate tomatoes here. The smaller ones that ripen all at once, which is nice for the um, short growing season. I do that on purpose because it works so well. Yeah, and this is something, if you can't afford a greenhouse or if you don't have a room for it, this would be something I would go first. Cool. Absolutely. Here's a good example of how well this window race protected garden works. This is a tomato that is actually an early variety, it's native sun. But as you see, it's not as vigorous, it's not uh, ripening, one is turning color, but it's really beyond those that are in the window protected garden. Like it's amazing, even though it's really protected, it's just outside, but still there is a difference. In comparison, these tomatoes that are in the raised protected garden, um, they are ripening, they are healthier, and they have more fluid on them too, which is a win-win-win.